The other thing is, um, yeah. Mike Mike over at Payday Report was talking about WGA and SAG-AFTRA. The studios and the writers were returning to the bargaining table. So that's not SAG-AFTRA. That's actually the Writers Guild. Uh, there's Jack Black on the picket lines. And apparently yeah. he's been doing like getting truck drivers to uh, uh, pull their horns. And he's a big, everyone seems to love him on the picket lines. Um, but after a three-month pause, they returned to the oh, table. Jack Black. Right? The studios. This, this, this guy. Up your ugly ass. No, wrong one. You can kiss my ass. No, I'll find it. It's somewhere. Uh, <laughs> keep going. Okay. Wrong, so, wrong guy. Desperate for the for content for the it. fall TV schedule, some studio executives are now starting to push for a deal. Hey, how about that? The AMPTP through Carol Lombardini reached out to WGA and requested a meeting. That's good. We'll be back in communication. It's still being determined if these talks will result in a deal. They didn't. During the strike, studios have gone on a higher spree for AI specialists, with some making as much as a million dollars a year. <sighs> Bless you. Many union organizers worry that these studios are trying to beef up their AI capacity to put work to put more stress and to put more pressure on the writers. But it certainly appears like these are high-level strategic positions based on the kind of competition being offered in terms of a broader AI strategy or focus. That's not something we've seen prior to now. Yeah. So union leaders are say they're prepared to stay out for as long as it takes. I like hearing that. And we have financially prepared ourselves. For, and we financially prepared ourselves for the next six months. You have to do it in Fran Drescher's voice. Sorry. Yeah. Right. And then you had Wabtech, which is one of the oh. locomotive companies they sued. Um, they're suing I found one it, of the, by the way. Up your ass. Ah, oh, there's your Jack Black thing. <laughs> Just to remind yeah. people, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, not such a great response here, was asked about the strikes. Uh, that I hope that both sides see the value of continuing conversation. The issues are real. And my hope is that no one will be happy with a settlement but we will get back to work. And that's just the nature of a settlement is both sides aren't happy. So we're all gonna have to give up something to get something. And I hope that what we get to do ultimately is continue our work. And I'm hoping. Yeah, um, except AI rights and like- My disappointment is immeasurable. Dude. And my day is ruined. <laughs> just to remind people, Disney won't give up 0.91% of their revenue to stop the strikes. Netflix, 0.2%. Oh, 0.091%. Netflix, 0.214%. Warner Brothers, 0.108% of their revenue to stop the strikes. And Paramount will give up 0.148% of their revenue to stop the strikes. Solidarity with the Correct writers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it, didn't Jamie Lee Curtis switch over to the directing side of things? Maybe. Wondering. Quite possibly. I feel like she might have done a couple.